Senator Millette, uh, Representative Cornfield, and members of the Education and Cultural Affairs Committee. Uh, my name is Kara Sachs. Uh, I was born in Maine, and I currently live in Portland. I am a licensed clinical social worker, as well as a certified trauma specialist through the National Institute for Trauma and Loss in Children. I completed my master's degree at UPenn, and for over a decade since, I have worked extensively with children at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, as well as multiple urban centers for grieving children, supporting children experiencing a range of uh, losses and traumas in their lives. I'm here today to testify about an, uh, the clock, oh, it just started. I am here today to testify about an aspect of this bill that has been unsettlingly absent from all debate on the issue, the potential devastating and long-term emotional impact on the estimated five to 8,000 children who would be segregated from their schools under LD 798. We know that children spend the majority of their waking hours at school. It is the place where they can rely on routine as well as supportive peer and adult relationships that help to nurture a child's development into young adulthood. <laughs> it's not just a place to learn, but it is the hub of a child's social development and a community that they belong to. Outside of the family, there is no greater influence. School is truly the pillar of childhood. To forcefully remove an unwilling child from that community and from those relationships would be a significant and lasting trauma. It has been extensively documented that traumatic events experienced in the life of a child can have devastating and far-reaching consequences. According to the CDC, exposure to adverse childhood events, or ACEs, put children at high risk for developing mental illnesses, including depression and anxiety. Repercussions reach into adulthood with a greater likelihood of being diagnosed with cancer, heart disease, and autoimmune illness. Traumatic events can damage the function and structure of a child's de delicately developing brain. Yet the brain is an incredible organ, and under the right protective conditions, the harmful effects of a trauma can be buffered. Resiliency in children is best predicted by the presence of positive and caring adults. LD-798 proposes to not only traumatize thousands of children by removing them unwillingly from their schools through no fault of their own, but would also ostracize them from the very relationships that would help to protect and nurture them in response to that trauma. The teachers, coaches, and guidance counselors, individuals like many of you who have been career educators, who are so crucial in helping to shape each individual child who walks through school doors. Our state is not currently in a position to risk inflicting psychological psychological harm on so many children. We are already burdened with the highest incidence of children diagnosed with mental health disorders in the nation of all 50 states. A recent study from the Journal of the American Academy, American Medical Association Pediatrics found that one in four school-aged children in Maine has at least one diagnosed mental health disorder, including depression and anxiety, a rate of incidence which is 50% higher than the national average of one in six. This is a true mental health crisis, and we don't yet even understand why we are failing our children in this way. There is no comparable cohort that has been studied in the fields of mental health to accurately predict the potential risk and widespread negative psychological impact of this bill. I urge you as a clinician not to inflict this level of trauma on a group of children who have done nothing wrong and are by all accounts, as you've heard tonight, treasured citizens of their schools. I respectfully request that you oppose LD-798. Thank you. Are there any questions? Representative Rudnicki. I don't know if um, I can ask you this, or mm -hmm. maybe we can have it for the work session. Um, or maybe I've heard it today, but I haven't completely processed it. So if LD-798 passes and children have to be pulled from the schools, do they are they still going to be allowed to take um, be part of the extracurricular stuff because I guess that's that's my question. Do you, do you get where I'm? We will we will have that um, noted for the, for the work session. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. 